Number two then from the 2014 Higher Maths Paper 2, Equation of a Tangent to a Curve. That should be all right then. So what have we got? Here's the coordinate equation. I'll need the gradient equation, and that's given by the derivative. So multiply by the power, take one off the power, multiply by the power, take one off the power, and that constant term just disappears because it doesn't change. So if x is equal to 2, that means the gradient will be 4 times, and that's what? 2 cubed minus 6 times, that will be 2 squared. 2 cubed, that's 8, 4 eighths are 32, 2 squared is 4, 6 fours are 24, so that's 8. So the gradient is 8 on this part of the curve. If x equals 2, what's the y-coordinate? Well, the y-coordinate will be putting 2 in. 2 to the power 4, minus 2 times, now you can go, 2 to the power 3, plus 5. Well, it must be 5, because that's 2 to the 4, and that's 2 to the 4. I'll put it down anyway. So that's 2 to the power 4, which is... 16 minus 2 to the power 3, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, plus 5. So they are 5. Y equals 5. So, for the tangent. Well, the tangent's a line. So I'll put down the finder equation for a line. Y minus B is MX minus A, where the gradient is 8, and the point on it is the point 2, 5. So Y minus the Y coordinate. Make sure you put the right one down is the gradient 8 times x minus the x-coordinate, but that may well be where it stops in the marking scheme for the final mark. However, I always finish this off. So y is 8x minus 16 plus 5, so y equals 8x minus 11. There, I'm going all the way down to there. Now, it's possible to check this answer if you've got time, but it involves a bit of fancy factorisation, so you can look away now if you're not interested, and I'll continue. Right, well, switch off now, because that's that solution done. This is just a little extra bit here. How could I check if that was, in fact, a tangent to that? Well, substitute it in and see if you get a pair of equal roots from it. So, x to the 4 minus 2x cubed plus 5 equals 8x minus 11 would give you x to the 4 minus 2x, I'll have to try and write better than that, minus 8x, and then that will make it into plus 16 equals 0. That means I'll have to factorise this, and hopefully in the factorisation I'll find a pair of equal factors. Equal roots will mean it's a tangent. Well, I could use synthetic division here because I do know one root of this equation. I've got 1, negative 2, 0, negative 8, and 16. I know that it was at x equals 2, so 2 should work. 1, 2, 0, and then that's 0, it's still 0, 0. That's negative 8, that's negative 16, and that fact did work. So I know that I've got x minus 2 as a factor times, and this is the interesting bit, x cubed minus 8. But this one is the difference of 2 cubes. You know the pattern for the difference of 2 squares. If I had something like x squared minus 25, that becomes x minus 5, x plus 5. Well, there's a similar pattern for the difference of two cubes, because what I've got here is x cubed minus 2 cubed. And it's the same as this in that it'll start off with x minus 2, and the second part will be plus to compensate. But obviously, that would have to be an x squared to make an x cubed, and I would still have two powers of them there, so that would have to be a 4 at the end or a 2 cubed at the end, and then in the middle it would be a single one of those. Whoops, sorry, I said they were all pluses. That would be the factorisation. You can easily check that's correct. So you've got x cubed, you've got a plus 2x squared, you've got a minus 2x squared, you've got a plus 4x, you've got a minus 4x, and finally you've got the minus 8. The pattern for the difference of 2 cubes, similar to the pattern for the difference of 2 squares. Subtract and then add. Only with this one, it'll have to be the squares of the terms. So that must become x minus 2 times x minus 2 times this little quadratic, which I'm not really interested in, because there you are, a pair of equal roots, which means it was a tangent, so that was correct.